Breaking news, a gun went off inside a Dallas elementary school just before school started this morning. We are on the scene to find out what happened. Welcome to Midday. I'm Chris Sadegi. This all started shortly before 8 in the morning, sending police rushing to Carpenter Elementary School in Dallas. Our Suzanne Bruner is live there on the scene where she just spoke to police. Suzanne, what have we learned? Yeah, Chris, you know, parents tell me they're just relieved to know that everyone is safe right now. DISD officials say a gun accidentally went off inside Carpenter Elementary School shortly before school started at 8 o'clock this morning. I just learned that class is still in session and while class is in session. District police officers are on hand where they will be all day to investigate how this even happened. But soon after the incident, uh, we watched Brandy Fields pick up her daughter from school. She said 10 minutes after dropping her off, she received a call saying a gun went off in the cafeteria. I, I didn't know what to think, what to feel. Um, just came over immediately and she's safe. So. Her daughter, Abby, who's a fifth grader, came to school early to show off her pink outfit for breast cancer awareness. But instead of going to the cafeteria beforehand, she went straight to class. And Abby told us she met with her friend who witnessed it all. My friend told me that she almost got shot today, and I was so confused. Um, she told me uh, somebody brought a gun, and they were showing it to everybody. And while they was playing with it, it went off. She said her friend was so scared she wanted to go home. The Dallas ISD police say at this time there is no reason to believe there is any threat to the campus. Now, before the start of the school year, DISD, along with other districts, made updates to safety and security. DISD now requires 6th through 12th grade students in the district to have clear and mesh backpacks. So that does not apply to students here at Carpenter Elementary or other elementary schools. And today's incident is leaving parents like Brandy questioning how did this gun end up in school and what's it going to take to keep their kids safe? Chris. Continue to follow that story.